So I'm going to check out Pikes Peak today. What better way to check out Pikes Peak than to take the Cogs Railway to the top? So let's go check that out. Pikes Peak, one of the highest summits of the southern front range of the Rocky Mountains at 14,115 feet. It was named in honor of American explorer Zebulon Pike, although he never actually made it to the top. Cog train will take us from Manitou Springs for about nine miles to the top of Pikes Peak. The total trip should be a little over three hours and will consist of some gorgeous scenery. interesting tidbits of our trip up to the top was that we actually stopped somewhere along the way and let out a few hikers which seemed like an ambitious way to get to the top of Pikes Peak. Made it to the top of Pikes Peak and it is really windy and somewhat cold. Let's go take a look around. Once we got to the top, the shop was super crowded and uh, I think most people were trying to wait in line to try out the famous donuts that are on top of Pikes Peak. The ride back down was way faster than the ride up. On our way down, we kept a constant eight miles an hour and on the way up, it was probably about half that speed and we had to stop a few times. Once I got back to the parking lot, I headed over to Manitou Springs to eat at Hell's Kitchen Pizza, where I picked up a few slices for lunch. Once I got done eating pizza, I walked around Manitou and checked out the shops and boutiques even stopping by the arcade that had all the old classics. Manitou Springs Arcade. They had vintage games and classic arcade with coin-operated children's rides and a bunch of pinball games. It was a great place to go for those fun old games.
After leaving Manitou Springs, I headed over to Helen Hunt Falls for a relaxing short hike and a few photos. There was a few steps and a bit of an incline to get above the falls and get that beautiful vista of the surrounding area. This place finished out my day before I headed back to my hotel. Less than fashionable copy hole of the San Francisco Examiner. These editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. 